I'm not pronouncing that name. <laughs> Let's carve a swath through the battlefield. No one in the chat asked me to pronounce that name because it's not happening. Uh, commoner? Where's the commoner? It must be the one Constance is doing. Why me? This battle will make a fine. Right, side mission is officially like I don't care. Actually, I'm sent to the Gremory? Sure, dude. I don't really know what that means. Just have me fight until there's nothing left. War arrow. Nice. Sorry. Why me? I am Constance. Forgive me. Yeah. That'll do it. Are you here? I suppose things can work out. Pardon my ineptitude. Of course you're right there. Alright, forget this side mission. I, I don't know where this commoner that. is. Time to make a name for myself. Let me go help Marianne here. Still doing good for S ranking. Lightning! Nice. Aura! Beautiful damage. Now say goodbye. Yo, Marianne's unique skill is so broken. Die. There we go. Is this alright? Please, excuse me. I forget these side missions. Just like get this Anamaka, whatever his name is. it's my turn. Burn to the ground. Behold the Shadow Slash's power. I got the Gremory. You guys are still at B? Hopefully I get rank A, or not rank A, rank B. By the time I'm done with this battle. Dude, battle agitants raise incredibly slow compared to doing activities and such. I would have thought Claude and Constance would be a little higher. Nice one, nice one. I'm all right. No problem, I got it. Power of the Wind God. Just die. You weren't ready for me. You lived that. I'll be the first to admit I'm pretty surprised. This will do it. have aired greatly if I manage to win. You and Claude managed to win, so. Axe of Zoltan, pretty worthless because we have Frey Kugel with uh, Hilda. Did you see that? Still Pog, though, I suppose. I think it's making sense now. Isis. Marianne and Constance got C? Really? Raphael? Raphael? Welcome to a merchant that happens to have frequent okay. your camp. Now we don't have to worry about supplies. Go on, take what you need. Sure. 
Not that I really care. Your contact from a battalion guild's there. I can introduce you to some incredibly strong fighters. They're, they aren't interested in taking any of your money. Odlin's archers. Sure, dude. Go back to the camp. Get the supplies. And then we have to watch like at least two supports. Because man, we have so many. We might have got Constance and uh, Claude's. We did. Perfect. All right. Supplies are the lifeblood. What supplies, all... please? Everything has. I'm not place. going on an expedition with Raphael. Like, there's no way. I'm probably just gonna give him a gift if I need to get his support up. Yeah, I'll probably just give him a gift or something. Uh, let's do Shez and Ash. Hey, what's wrong? Something on your mind? Kinda, yeah. Uh, remember before when we were talking about my mom? The more I think about it, the more I'm realizing she really was a strange person. What do you mean? Exactly that. Everything about her was kinda just... a mystery. I've spent hours trying to puzzle out how she might have ended up in that remote village, but I keep coming up empty. I mean, someone that smart is rare even in the biggest cities, right? She practically knew everything. Even using magic was a breeze for her. Hmm. She may not have talked much about her past, but can you think of anything she mentioned that could give you a clue? Maybe something about the people she knew, or unique things she owned. If she did, it's not coming to me. She's been gone so long now. So, yeah, nothing really springs to mind. I don't even have any mementos to remember her by. Then we'll just have to investigate. I'll help. Investigate? As in, my mom? Where'd that come from? Well, both of my parents died in an epidemic when me and my siblings were still very young. I still have some hazy memories of them. Food they used to make, that kind of stuff. But that's really all I have left. And since they were commoners, there's almost no record of them. All my searches came up empty. I know how much that hurts. So it's not hard for me to sympathize with what you're going through. Huh. <laughs> really, it's just so I can get my own closure. We don't have to do it if you don't want to. All right, I'm in. I'd love to learn some more about my mom. Okay, then. How are we doing this thing? The most sensible place to start would be talking to people who knew her. I doubt anyone in the village really remembers her, though. We weren't exactly the most social family. Still, someone must have known her. It's impossible to stay completely unnoticed in those small mountain towns. It's entirely feasible one of the villagers can tell us something. Or, uh, what about the village chief? If anyone's gonna remember her, it's him. But for all I know, he could be dead by now, too. Then we'll just have to send a letter and find out. And if we never get a response because no one there can read, well, in that case, we can go ourselves. Guess it's worth a shot. I feel kind of bad sending a messenger out that far, but we might as well see what happens. Great. Now, come on. Let's get started on that letter. Dude, I love Ash. Ash is great. Well, that was the rank B. <laughs> I think I got the rank B and A stacked. And we're going to hold on to the rank A for a bit. Let's do Gerald and Chez because I feel like this one has been waiting for a while. Or was it Etra? We'll probably do Shez and Gerald, and then we'll probably end up doing Claude and Constance. Yeah, we'll do that. Also, how are we doing with, uh... Hilda's basically good. Marion and Bernadetta, I want to get them increased. They almost have a B, we'll probably work on that. And then Marion and Yuri I want to do. I'm trying to think who I want to mess with. I want to get Marianne with Bernadetta and with Yuri. Is there anyone else I want to get? Bernadette and Linhard would be nice too. Oh no, Bernadette, no, Linhard and Constance, I have to see. There's just so many, dude. Dorothea, like, we don't really have much support. So I'm just glad I got the one with, uh, Hilda. I think that's basically it. Getting B with you guys would be neat. Still a couple more I want to see, but we'll, we'll kind of work it out. Uh, 
Well, this is great. Having some trouble there, Geralt? I wanted to replace the clasp on my gauntlet, but I can't quite get the blasted thing to stay. Here, let me try. Oh, look at that. You got a real knack for these things. Thanks, kid. I'm surprised you've survived this long with those ham hands. Being a good mercenary isn't all about dexterity, you know. Besides, when you've lived as long as I have, your body just doesn't work as well as it used to. Trust me. You don't look that old to me. You can't judge a book by its cover. I might not look it, but I'm practically an ancient tome. Not to mention I've lived pretty hard. Might just be a gut feeling, but... I've started feeling like the goddess might call me to her side before long. Come on, it's not like you're at death's door. Besides, you really think the goddess would be calling you of all people? You don't hold anything back, do you? If the goddess won't have me, then I'll just have to make do in hell. Do you think you'd have any regrets if you died right now? Not one. <laughs> Except maybe living too long. What about leaving your kid behind? Can't say I wouldn't be worried, especially because that kid isn't exactly normal. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> what? Unusually powerful thinks out loud? This, this is ironic because normally, uh, Byleth's the silent protagonist in Three Houses. Very emotional. <laughs> I've never seen a power like that before. Not even generals with crests measure up. True. It's not like my training was all that rigorous either. But before I knew it, my kid had become the Ashen Demon. Just a personal quirk, I guess. Makes it tough to find friends, though. In that sense, I'm glad we're here. There's tons of young folks around. And maybe the kid will take a shine to you, since you're both mercenaries. Who knows? I've been hoping we could talk more, at least. Is that so? I'm glad to hear you say that. Takes a load off my mind. Gerald's support would be better to do before Bylet's. Because you have, like, hey, like, talk to Gerald about, hey, Shez saying, I'm, saying I want to talk to Bylet more. And then doing Bylet's support. I did this backwards, but whatever. <laughs> now you really sound like a dad. I was never much of a parent, but I do worry all the same. You know, I think we were meant to end up on the same side. You do me a favor and look after my kid. When you put it that way, it really does sound like you're about to die. Hey, it's possible. Tomorrow's never guaranteed in this line of work. I meant what I said. Can I count on you? Yeah, sure. I'm not gonna refuse a dying man's wish after all. Alright, so let's watch Claude and Constance's. And I'll probably just use the rest of our points. You've arrived, Claude. I pray you are ready. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, Claude's gonna die. Okay, no need to start off with a bunch of yelling. And uh, what should I be ready for exactly? <laughs> the day has finally come. The day for you to be thunderstruck by the self-same magic you once so viciously mocked. The magic? The magic. Oh, you mean that hair-raising one you used on me. hair ra No, that is not the purpose. It is meant for changing the length and style of hair. Right, sure. Um, so what about it again? Ugh, your droll lack of enthusiasm boggles the mind. Do you understand just how much I devoted myself to my studies since that day of shame? Also, I might have some vindication? Okay, wait, look, I know you're a hard worker, but that was just, you know, one of those things. I don't really think you need vindication. Silence, Creighton! Let your jaw hang slack in its moorings as you witness how my magic has evolved! <laughs> what? Dude, sometimes the way Constance talks. Oh, you got me again. <laughs> well... At least I'm not sharp and pointy this time. You most certainly are not. Do you truly think me the type to make the same mistake twice? It has been quite the gauntlet of trial and error, yet finally I have arrived. I stand now on the fresh new ground of magic. The magic of gentle tresses tumbling over.
over one's shoulders. Say, this does come in nicely at the ends. Some parts longer, some shorter. Whoa, but it's really frizzy. <laughs> it's like a it's like a bird's nest up in here. What an exquisite style! What an innovative look! Truly, this is the most striking of spells. Uh, and I guess I have a fluffy beard now. Well, that's certainly something. Yes, and it makes you appear quite unkempt. Perhaps it is not the look for you. <laughs> hey, don't laugh it off. What am I supposed to do about this mountain man beard, huh? I, I don't even want a picture, Claude, in a mountain man beard. He had the sideburns in Three Houses time skip, but oh my word. I'm glad the game's not showing me this. Last time you zapped me, my hair was stiff enough to stab through armor for an entire day. I couldn't even get to sleep because I shredded my pillow. Are you saying I've just got to grin and bear this until it wears off? At this point, there is nothing else I can do. You can endure this for one day, no? If it helps, I am willing to offer my moral support. If only this wasn't Fodlin. And what is so wrong with Fodlin? Just that a manly beard like this would be considered a real accomplishment in the East. Your magic would be praised to the heavens if you went out that direction. Then my magic can transcend borders? You finally understand the extent of my talent! <laughs> no, it's just that this kind of beard here in Fodlin... Okay, she's not listening. Dude, I love Constance, but oh my word, what was that? That, Constance's puff puffs are not puff puffs. That was the joke I was gonna make. Constance and Claude's supports are basically puff puffs. Fire emblem style. Let's do Petra and Shez really quick and then we'll move on with the uh, other stuff. This war is going on and on. Do you think we will ever have sight of the end? I, I wish the game wouldn't end either, but also I have other playthroughs to do, so, you know, it's kind of got to end. Yeah, I do. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but it's definitely out there on the horizon. It will be good to be putting this war behind us. When the war is finished, what are you wishing to do? That's a pretty big question. Probably just lay, lay low for a while, get a condo somewhere. Maybe hook up with Hilda or something. You know, typ typical teenage, early adult stuff, however old Chez is. Then I will give more clarity. How will you be supporting yourself when your contract is completed? If you have the desire, you could come to Bridget with me. Wait, seriously? I thought you were just pulling my leg about that. I would never be pulling your legs. Also, I am speaking with seriousness. I imagine Petra literally thought he meant pulling legs. After losing the war with the Empire, Bridget was forced into becoming a vassal state. But this war is giving Bridget the chance to stand on equal feet again. We will be opening our borders to Fodlin. The exchanges between us will flourish. I am needing a person I can trust to give me help with this. Huh. Please, accept my apologies if the offer was given with too much suddenness. No, it's not that. I was just taking a moment to admire you. This war has been particularly ugly, and it seems like we're tearing each other apart on a daily basis. But people like you and Claude are already thinking about what comes next, how to plan for it. You're every bit the ruler they are. No, I am different. I am the Queen of Bridget. We are the proud isles, placed upon the sea by the spirits, who are watching over us to this day. Yo ho ho ho! Petra's played Grandia! Our future has the brightness of the sun. I am hoping you will be at my side as we are shaping it. Powerful words. And I'm happy you put that much stock in me. Honestly, it's a good fit. I've got nothing tying me down. No family, no titles, no property to speak of. I am not asking for your answer in this moment. I know your sword is sold right now. But when this war is over, I hope the making of a decision is at the top of your to-be-doing list. That is why I am approaching you so early. Because I am very, very sneaky. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll keep that in mind. And I don't blame you for trying to sneak ahead of the competition. Honestly, I'm kind of flattered. So, how about this? 
Let's both make it through this war unscathed and decide what comes next together. I like Petra, dude. This is a perfect example of having a silent protagonist in Three Houses was a missed opportunity. Yeah, exactly. I love Three Houses. Love is probably a strong... I still really love Three Houses, and the big reason for that is the characters. But, um... I'd probably give Three Houses like a 6 out of 10. I talked about it in my Shadows of Valentia review. I'd probably tie Shadows of Valentia and Three Houses because they're, they're basically tied. They both have their strengths and weaknesses. And the characters in both games are good, but I think I still prefer the Three Houses cast because, man, I love the Three Houses cast. And by definition, Three Hopes. But, um... Yeah, I... Also, Shadows of Valentia has no silent protagonist, so... I definitely don't like silent protagonists in any game. Even a game like Dragon Quest that has a silent protagonist. I talked about it when I reviewed Dragon Quest XI, how I didn't like how the story revolves so much around the Luminary, and he's a silent protagonist, so it breaks all emotional moments of the game. 